And one second before I pressed record, their fucking ring light died, so now you can't see my face. But on the other hand, it's now way easier for me to even record my microphone because I always have the problem when I'm recording somewhere else than on my desk. But without any more interruptions, let's get right to the video that you even came for. So you might have heard the news, but on the 8th of December, it finally happened. Before, there were just vague speculations that said it'll be released before the 20th of some strange reason that I can't remember. But then, they carved it in stone and showed the masterpiece to everyone. It's the 16th of December 2016 when Astroneer will finally be released. And I really, really am hyped for this game and I just want to play it, I want to hold it in my hands. I mean. Not a physical copy, because they don't even ship physical copies, but a digital copies! I'll burn it on a CD and print it out or whatever. I'll, I'll put out the cover of the game and that's it, and I'll just hold that in my hands and I'll be happy. And with the release being so close, which, by the way, is 435 days after they released the trailer back in October of 2015, I wanted to kind of refresh my What is Astronia video from 8 months ago where there wasn't that much information about the game out yet and I want to make this video just before I start streaming on Friday right on the release date it'll be a great time so there is a lot to say about this game I mean I made this video back in April so a shit ton of time passed where do we start best way to start is at the beginning I've or at least when I found it, not the beginning of the game. I found Astronaut back in December of 2015 when I was just browsing through my Steam Explore queue and it immediately caught my attention because I just love low poly art styles, especially, especially when they're well executed. Like this one, it, it's just stunning. The, graf the graphical style of this game is mind-blowing but back then there was hardly any information about the game released other than the initial release trailer that was released back in October of the same year so meaning that there was no more information that it's a game in space and you're an astronaut that this is everything we knew back then everything we knew for sure but it all started half a year ago when the developers first released a gameplay video where they wanted to show off the multiplayer Side note, back then it had more gameplay than No Man's Sky it has right now, so props to them, they are better than probably the most hyped game in history. And then five days after they released that special gameplay trailer where they played the PAX build of the game, they started streaming. They started to stream a sort of gameplay but more of a dev dev video where they showed off how to build planets and it was one of many of them and they are all really interesting because you get a lot of a really a lot of background information about the game and also about the people who are behind it and so now we jump right to the part where I answer some questions some frequently asked questions that you probably know the answers to already if you watched all the streams, especially the newest gameplay stream. All of these questions were kindly put together by, by a person from the Astronia Reddit called Astronerd. He's a dev on the game. So, how much will Astronia cost? So it'll be 20 bucks all around the globe. So 20 bucks US dollars in early access at least. I don't know if they'll raise the price once 1.0, so to say, will release. But for the early access for the game that you will be able to play on the 16th, it'll be 19.99. So one cent less than 20 bucks. So I lie to you. I'm really sorry. <laughs> and this game will be released in Steam early access and also the Windows 10 store. So you'll also be able to play it on the Xbox One, but not on the PS4, which is a shame, but Sony doesn't have an early access platform where indie devs like Astroneer or other similar games can be released. So it'll probably be released at version 1.0. The game won't be released on GOG on day one, because GOG has a little bit of, has some problems with the multiplayer. So they all probably release it on GOG as soon as possible, so as soon as they fix the multiplayer problem with GOG. And eventually it'll also be released on Mac, but it's not confirmed 
ports for the early access launch. Is there controller support? Yeah, there's controller support. The whole game is playable with controller support and there, I think in every single live stream they show up that you're able to play with a controller because at least one person asks it every half an hour. Are you able to play with a controller? Yes, you are, son. Will there be multiplayer at release? Yeah, I already talked about that. There will be multiplayer, up to four-person co-op. Local co-op is not in it, though. And they don't know yet if they'll ever release local co-op. But you'll be able to play with your friends over Steam and Xbox One. But cross-platform between Xbox One and Steam will not be possible, sadly. So, no interaction with other communities, which is a shame, but technically not possible. Are the hazards in the game? Yeah, storms and strong winds that move around the sand of the planet and cover your base in it, so... You have to clean up your base eventually, which is not the funniest thing to do, but if you want to have an efficient base, you probably... Sh it sh probably shouldn't be covered in sand all the time. So there's no way around cleaning your base. So, how about enemies? At the release of the game, there won't be any mobs or, so to say, bad guys in the game. But the devs said that it might be cool to see them in future updates. And there's also no PvP, so you will not be able to kill your friends. I mean, you yeah, indirectly can by stealing their oxygen supplies and burying the whole base in sand. It's only PvE at the release. Are there liquids or bodies of water? So in early access there won't be any, but in the last gameplay stream they talked a lot about this and it's really cool to have it, but it's also, from a technical standpoint, it's really, really hard to make it come true. But the devs would like to have it in the game, but as I said, it's hard to do and it'll probably take a lot of time. Are the shuttles free flight? That's actually one major question for me that affects me personally because I love Kerbal Space Program and I love just playing around with it and failing every time to land on a new planet because it was fun. It was fun to just fail and an astroneer in the early access you won't be able to fly the shuttles live so there is only an autopilot available. But they are, they probably want to add this in the future because it's a nice thing to have. And I get, I have also said that then you'll be able to decide if you want to have an autopilot or not, and so on. So if you're good enough, you don't need an autopilot. If you're not good enough, you have to craft an autopilot and edit or something like that. I don't know how they'll implement it, but autopilot will definitely be a nice feature. Planets. So all the planets in the game are procedurally generated with some fixed variables and biomes. And gravity is present on all of them, but it changes depending on the size and of the planet. And as soon as the game releases, I hope someone will conduct some uh, weird experiments like digging through a planet or building a bridge to another planet because the devs said it's theoretically not possible. But I hope that it is <laughs> because imagine it's just a hole through a whole planet. It's extremely hard to build because you, then you have to build oxygen pipes and energy lines all the way down into the core. And as you are approaching the core, gravity will be less and less, just like in real life, if you wouldn't die of the heat. <laughs> and yeah, so I'm looking really forward to that. Will there be quests, a storyline, or an end game? Yeah, there will be. And we, we the community, don't know anything about it. The devs just said it in the Q&A that there will be, but no one ever heard anything about it. There will be some quests at Early Access launch. I'm looking. Re I'm really looking forward to these because I'm excited where in which direction they want to go with their game. Because if they have quests at the beginning of their game, that kind of sets the direction in which the other quests will go. But everything's a secret for now, and we'll see on the 16th of December. I just said it like a weird announcer. Yeah, fuck me. How about mods? So, in early access there will not be mod support, but they are working on it and eventually it'll be implemented. Also Steam Workshop, because I can really see the community making cool new vehicles or bases, base modules, sorry, or new suits, new colors, new everything, new planets, new biomes. 
Steam Workshop for this game I think works really well because especially with the low poly steel everyone is able to model anything they want because it's way easier than just hyper realistic textures like in Watch Dogs 2 or Witcher. Oh, okay, Witcher is only hyper realistic when it's modded, but let's continue with space engineers. Space engineers, yeah. Fuck me. Astron here. So, these are the most interesting questions the DDFs answered over the hundreds or just fives of live streams that they did. And I'm really excited for the 16th. This video will probably be released on Monday, so just five more days to go, then there'll be a huge stream. I'll stream this game to death and try everything out. Probably also build a deep, deep hole into the planet. Because I'm really ex interested in that. So this will probably be our main goal in the beginning. And not so much exploring because I already saw a lot of the different planets in the streams. I mean, there's like, what, 10 hour of stream material out there right now <laughs> that you can watch about the game. And if you like this video, don't forget to check out the devs channel, System Era. There's a lot more information, but you have to watch a lot of the streams to get it all together. But it's really interesting. If you want to see more gameplay, check them out. There was a... There was some gameplay in the background, I know, but... If you want to know the devs' comments on the gameplay and everything, just check them out. It's really, really interesting. Even from a technical standpoint, what they're able to do with the game, what they did with the game. And also, that they're just... Five guys, six guys, six people are working on the game. Just amazing what an effort they put into this. And we'll see. Today is the 9th of December. So for me, it's seven more days to go. One more week of suffering without Astroneer. For you, it's just five more days. But <laughs> thank you, everybody, for watching. I hope you have a really nice day. Bye.